You know, guys, I was feeling in a little bit of a introspective mood today. And I thought the setting, the light looked kind of nice. Looks pretty somehow. And um, I like pretty things or pretty images or pretty paintings or pretty music or pretty people or pretty things pretty experiences now why is it that we sometimes can't accept our internal experiences or why we are having such a hard time letting go of things why is that you know because you would expect us to be able to let go of things that don't really serve us more easily wouldn't you I think it's it's almost ridiculous how strongly we sometimes hold on to things we know are not serving us. And letting go has been a big part of my life growing up letting go of all beliefs, all identities, the opinions of others, my perfectionism, letting go of a certain image that I've built in my head about who I am as a person and who other people are, and things of that nature. And it has always been very difficult, you know? these compulsive thoughts in my mind they stay stuck there stuck on a loop and I couldn't let them go because it's scary to do that you feel like you're losing control you feel like You don't have power. You feel powerless. And I felt powerless often in my life. Powerless against my own thoughts. Powerless against other people. Powerless against my own feelings and emotions and sometimes even behaviors. It's crazy to think about. And the letting go of things I was unwilling to let go of, I was too afraid to let go of, has always been a transformative experience. Every single time you're able to let go of something that you know you should be letting go of, but you feel like you can't. Every time you succeed, you grow. You reach a new phase in your life. So why is it then that it's so difficult to do it? Why is it so, so difficult to let go of things we know we should let go of. And again, I think it has a lot to do with the fact that letting go means stepping into the unknown. Okay? You can't let go of something you don't know. It's only the known that we hold on to. We don't hold on to the unknown because we can't. Okay? So, 
letting go means embracing the unknown, means embracing the fact that things might go unexpected, things might go wrong, potentially. But then, ask yourself, would they really go wrong? Or are you just afraid that you would not be able to handle the situation, deal with the consequences of finding yourself in a new unknown environment, exploring new territory, expanding your comfort zone, okay? Why do you resist letting go so much? Why? Because you know, you know that it's not serving you, you know it. Instead of focusing on how scary it is to embrace the unknown, maybe it can be useful to look at things from a different angle, different perspective. Maybe you could tap into all the things that could go right, the things that you could gain, okay? Because we as humans, we are loss averse, which means that we experience more pain losing something that we have than that we experience pleasure from gaining something that we didn't. And the reason is that we have a hard time gauging how good we feel when we gain something. We are very bad at predicting future emotional states. I was never good at it, you know? I would predict that, oh, I will feel so miserable if I fail this test. And when I did, it was not that bad. You move on, you start over and you do better next time or I would feel elated extremely happy when I got when I successfully applied for a job or when I got into university or these considerably very important and joyful experiences. But, you know, you feel excited and happy for a little bit and then you go back to baseline, right? So now, instead of focusing on what you would lose if you let go, you could think about what might you gain from letting go? What energy would be freed up? What new opportunities might present themselves? And allow yourself to dream, to tap into an abundant future. Because holding on to stuff keeps you trapped in the past. And it doesn't allow you to open yourself up to what the future has to offer. And the future does have a lot to offer. So, 
ask yourself, what is it that you're really afraid of? When you can't let go of something, what is it really that you're afraid of? Because what I've learned through my life is that it's usually the fact that I fear that I don't deserve certain things or that I will never be able to attain what I would like to attain or that it's simply not possible for me to live such a life or attract the people that I want to attract or become the version of myself that I would want myself to become and we are often afraid of our own success of our own strength. We think that we are not educated enough or smart enough or charismatic enough, whatever it may be, whatever excuse you might come up with it's all excuses it's all rationalizations to avoid having to let go of former beliefs identities people places and it's some kind of dying of some sorts to let go of something I always had to go through some kind of grieving process because I lost a little part of myself and I experienced it as a loss. So I needed time to integrate that and to grieve that loss because it's always a small loss going through these cycles of personal growth, letting go of old beliefs, identities. And it can be a painful process sometimes. But maybe it can be useful to remind you that every time you were finally able to accept and let go. Something better came out of that. You've reached a new level in your personal understanding. You became aware of what you were missing out on. Isn't that interesting? We don't know what an amazing life we might live if we would let go of the things that no longer serve us. You don't know what kind of person you might meet that might turn your world upside down. You don't know what new work or living environment you might encounter that brings you so much joy and fulfillment just engaging in that environment new colleagues new places you can go to a new house whatever it may be okay you don't know how it will make you feel and what things might come from that so maybe ask yourself if there is even if it's just a very small part 
inside you that's curious, that would like to know what's beyond the holding on to things. Maybe you can turn to that part within you and hear it out, give it a chance, allow it to speak up and listen because it might guide you somewhere you've never even imagined you would ever be capable of going Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.